But the way we use it in the writer's room is it's it's such a telegraph if the character is feeling great. Yeah. I will say in drama, where it's like, we're have you know, like where everything's fine. You know what I mean? Like when you get to that place of, and then they're friends and it's perfect. Like it begs for that to be destroyed. And like, and, and I think right. when we talk about a morph, it means that you're you're telegraphing to the audience that something terrible is going to happen to that person, right? Where it's like, we're doing it, man. You know, like, <laughs> congratulations, you know, you like, feel it watching it too, you're just like, you know, I had a great yeah. career, career as a cop, you know, thanks for this going away party, guys. And then just, you know, gun down in the street as he's leaving. Like, that's a morph to me, which is like, it's just, a te- it's a telegraph, right? It's like, it's your telegraphing the punch. But how um, do you get past it? How do you help, like, your writers well, get past that telegraphing? So that's a term that I didn't even write down, but when you said that, it made me think of um, something we call kicking dirt over. So you kick some dirt over it. Yeah. And what that means is you kind of messy it up and make it where the person isn't perfectly happy or it's kind of buried more in story or you work on a way to have the, the thing that, the shoe that drops to be surprising, right? So we always talk about like when something reads bald in a script, dig it. it's like there's a morph or like, you know, like I know it's gonna happen. Um, right. It's like we should kick dirt over that. We should kick, we should kick a little dirt over that. Um, I love that term. That's so, yeah. that's so good. I'm stealing it. Thank you. Yeah, kick dirt <laughs> over it, and that helps make it feel more nuanced and realistic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. Um, I love it. The ones. Okay. Yeah. What are some okay, of your other ones? More. Okay. So we got. Well, speaking of speaking of um, kicking dirt over it, there's something there's something that we call schmuck bait. So schmuck bait <laughs> is schmuck bait is when you're like. The character goes, well, I'm going to leave this company, even though I'm a main character and the show takes place at this company. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where you're like, yes, no, you're yes. Or it's like, you, you can, you know. Right. Oh right. my God, Spider-Man's dead. No, he's not. You know, like it's, it's one of those things where it's like, what if, and Lisko would be really funny about this because he would always take the pitch as far as it could go. Be like, well, no, what if they do? What if they just leave the show in the middle? What if they just, they never come back and they actually leave and we have to write a silent story for that character. And I'm like, we're not, we're not going to do that. But on principle, it's like anything that you kind of dangle, it's like, it's false stakes, right? False stakes yeah. is not fake, right? Which is like, oh no, the puppy, you know, like it, right, right. Where you know, it's going to be fine. Like and it, and it, and it's, 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 it's talking down, it's talking down to the audience. So then, so then to, to kind of like work around you know, schmuck bait, no false stakes, mm-hmm. heighten it, come up with real stakes. Yeah. Or what do you, yeah, make what it do you a suggest? real thing that can actually happen in the show. As a, if it can't, if you yeah. know it's not going to happen in the show intellectually and you're back within the that glass ceiling. Thing, yeah. Like, yeah. And like, that's impossible. They're not going to do that. Right. Um, either do it, which is very difficult if you can, or like make right. good on your threat and don't, yeah. Block, or figure out stakes that are authentic. Thank you.